Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another video. Today we are going to just quickly touch on the topic that we briefly covered yesterday, which was looking at the Vainglory skin system that is changing in the next update. A lot of questions that I got were, what do I do with my cards? Because cards are the current crafting system which are being done away with in the next update. Now, Vainglory have made it clear that they are going to give everyone a full crafting essence refund for their cards. So everybody that has got large card stockpiles should be kind of in the money when it comes to essence uh, on the next update. Because skins do cost more essence on the next, next update, so I would advise you to spend it wisely. And I'll talk about what you can do with your essence later on in the video. When it comes to actual cards, however, let's talk about what you should do with each individual tier. You can see here that I've listed what the amount, the amount of essence that you'll get for a refund for a card, as well as the amount of essence that you would get to destroy it. So if you take the commons, for instance, you get six essence as a refund for a common, and if you destroy it, you get one. Really, really bad return. You get an 83% loss on your common cards. For rares, 30. Destroyers, six. It's an 80% loss. For epics, the refund you'll get is 120, the destroy value is 30, that's a 75% loss. And for legendaries, the refund value is 360, the disenchant value or the destroy value is 120, so you get a 66% loss. So you'll notice that, to be honest, to de destroying your cards is going to get you a massive loss in essence compared to what you would get as a straight up refund from SEMC on the next update. So if you're unsure about what skins you want, or you're happy to just play it by ear and see what blueprints you get, or you don't really care, uh, and you're just happy to have the essence, don't destroy anything. Literally touch none of your cards, especially the commons, but don't destroy anything. Just wait for the, the full essence refund, see what blueprints you end up getting, and you should have enough essence to realistically buy whatever you want when you get the blueprint for it. In terms of people that want to get a blueprint for a specific skin, let's talk about the maths behind that. As a quick side note before we move on to that, I would recommend to all of you that have common cards especially, do not touch your common cards. And realistically, I wouldn't touch your rare cards either unless you need the, the six essence specifically. I would keep both your rare and common cards pretty much untouched. Um, just simply because you get such a poor amount of essence in terms of uh, their, their sort of value when you destroy them, it's probably far better to wait out and get the full refund for them. So your, your rare and your common cards are probably worth not destroying and just keeping as they are, because you're going to get lots, lots more essence on the next update when the payout comes through. In terms of limited edition cards... Um, I'm not sure what their full payout value is going to be. I believe some people were asking questions on Twitter about this. Playoff Beard said he imagines it would be the 360, but he's not sure. Um, so therefore, I think you just have to kind of wait and see on that one. Remember, they, they, they do fall under legendary cards, I think, the limited edition cards. So uh, I would imagine they just come at their full payout value. But don't hold me to that because no one knows specifically yet. Again, it's something that uh, I'm sure will be communicated when uh, we get the full release of what everything is worth. When it comes to qualifying for a blueprint, it really depends what skin the or what skin system the, the skin used that you're trying to get hold of. For instance, the old skin system was slightly more um, or slightly less expensive to craft skins, so therefore to get to the 33% uh, of those skins, it's going to be less essence. And when I say the old skin system, I mean the tiered skin systems and the skin systems that require you to have a mix of commons rares epics and legendaries to hit that particular skin so for rares you need 210 essence worth of uh, cards for epics you need 520 essence worth of cards and for legendaries you need 1260 essence worth of cards um, so if you have cards worth that amount of essence in those skin tiers you will already qualify for the blueprint remember non-common commons do not count that's why I don't touch your commons because all commons are good for right now is getting you six essence when they refund. The new skin systems are the ones that use just the rares or just the epics or just the legendaries. An example of this is Nether Knight Lance Legendary. He requires 16 legendaries to craft the skin. He doesn't require any epics, no rares, no commons, just the legendaries. These are slightly more expensive, so you're going to need to hit a slightly higher essence value uh, to qualify for the blueprint. Something that I think is important to note is, I talked about it in the last video, you should not really be crafting cards if you don't have the essence for it right now. Unless you absolutely desperately want the blueprint for, an, uh, for the, a blueprint for a skin when the next um, update comes out. 
I'll talk about it in, in a second, but um, something that also I noticed was that I, I looked at some dev responses and it seems like if you have cards that contribute to multiple tiers of skins, so the tier one, the tier two, and the tier three skin stuff, and because I know a lot of the cards that you use translate over across multiple tiers, cards that contribute to one tier will also contribute to another tier. So any cards that you have that contribute to a tier one skin will also contribute to a tier two skin and will also contribute to a tier, tier three skin. So you could technically have... 80% of a tier 1 skin, but also 33% of a tier 2 skin completed with the same cards, and that will count for the blueprints for both of those tiers. So cards will get crossover on tiers. Remember that any cards that you have that get you to the 33% of a skin tier will get refunded in full crafting value. So any any cards that you have, even the ones that qualify you for a 33% value um, blueprint, will get refunded. So any cards that you have, it's not it's not like the um, the cards that get you to the 33% are going to be taken away and then you get the blueprint instead. No, those cards actually get refunded as well. Which is why if you have any spare essence, if you have any spare essence outright and you want to craft some cards to get you to the 33%, if you craft cards now, they're free. If you, cra if you craft any cards now... With Essence, instead of destroying cards, if you craft any cards now with Essence, that Essence is going to go right back into your pocket. So any cards that you craft with Flat Essence right now are completely free. Just just bear that in mind. If you have Spare Essence to craft cards, craft them to get to the 33%, or, um, or you can use that Essence to craft skins. But if you don't have any skins or you're not close enough to skins, you can use that Essence to craft cards, and that Essence will come right back to you. So remember that. The last thing to note is if you're like me and you don't care about talents and you have all the heroes, then consider spending your glory on skin card chests. Because any cards that you get through the skin card chest are just going to be given back to you at their full essence value when the next update comes out. And there are benefits to this now if you have nothing else to spend your glory on. You could complete a skin that you want with the cards. You could get towards the 33% of a skin. Uh, you could just get a bunk load more essence to spend on the next update. This is basically the closest that you're going to get to spending glory for skins. So this, this this bit right here will be the closest that you get to spending glory for skins. Simply because on the next update, all the cards disappear. So the randomness of the skin card chest goes out the window. And you're just going to be using essence. If you can get the skin blueprints that you want, but you're lacking the essence, but you have a load of glory... Spend the glory on these chests now. Any cards that you get will be given back in their full essence value. And you're basically playing, paying glory for direct essence at this point going into the next update. And then when you get the blueprints, you'll have the, glor uh, the glory for essence. And then you'll have the essence required to unlock the skin. So if I were in your position and I didn't like to spend my glory on talents and I didn't like to spend my glory on anything else because um, I've already unlocked all the heroes and I know that I'll be able to grind enough when the next hero comes out. I would consider spending, a, you know, a portion of my glory on the skin, uh, the skin card boxes. Don't spend all of it because we don't know if there's going to be another glory sink in the next update, which could be better. But it's worth investing at least a little bit of your glory into skin card chests because it's a good way to make sure that you're fully stacked going into the next update to make sure that you have the best opportunity to unlock skins straight away for free.